This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to Manitoba, Canada with Jeff Schaefer of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Jeff will be hunting for moose with Big Sand Lake Lodge located near the Arctic Circle in the northern part of this province. Now don't go anywhere because you will not want to miss what Jeff gets to see on this trip. Awesome buck. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Available at your local Triggs grocery store. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know that spending time with your family is important. That's why we won't waste your time with any high-pressure sales tactics or extended service wait time. Just fair and affordable pricing on new and pre-owned vehicles and honest, straightforward service long after the sale. Ram 1500, Border Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Not once, but twice. That's right, twice. Whether you're from near or far, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. How do you define the trip of a lifetime? On this week's show, we meet Jeff Schaefer of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Now Jeff is headed to Manitoba, Canada, to the Big Sand Lake Lodge. Now if you like to hunt monster bull moose, you might just consider this the trip of a lifetime. Let's head to Chippewa Falls and catch up with Jeff right now. Hi, I'm Jeff Schaefer from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. My good friend Chad Schultz and I uh, wanted to take a moose hunting trip up to uh, northern Manitoba, but we didn't know where to go. Uh, so we got a hold of uh, Mike Winsink from uh, Outdoor Connections. And Mike set us up with uh, Big Sand Lodge in uh, Thompson, Manitoba. We got some good reports, some good references on it. And uh, so we decided to make the trek up there. And we drove up from uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Up to, we came up to Winnipeg. And from Winnipeg, we came up to Thompson, Manitoba. It's about uh, probably about an 18-hour drive from uh, Eau Claire. So then, what we did is, from Thompson, we flew into Big Sand, which is about a 45-minute uh, flight into Big Sand. We flew right in, uh, landed right in on a gravel uh, landing strip up there, right at camp. And we got off and we were greeted by uh, Rick, the manager of Big Sand Lodge up there. 
we greeted the other moose hunters that were there the week before and uh, every one of them was from Wisconsin so it was nice to see the enthusiasm uh, and the really nice racks that uh, they had there. Our uh, excitement level went up quite a bit. Hi, I'm Rick Bowen. I'm with Big Sand Lake Lodge. I've been running the camp up here for almost uh, 15 years. We're located up in the northwest corner of Manitoba, um, close to the Arctic, and uh, we offer top quality uh, fishing and hunting trips. And uh, our seven day moose hunting packages uh, run out of our main lodge, and as well as our uh, five outpost camps and two remote tent camps. We had a safety meeting, and we went through that and had a great meal. Got our license filled out, and then uh, Rick wanted us to go out to the range and take one shot with our rifles, and to make sure that they're on, and uh, everything was working properly. We flew out of the main lodge and went back to uh, Lake LeClaire, which was about a 45 minute uh, flight by a float plane um, from camp. We got back there and boy, what a beautiful setting it was. We get our stuff unpacked and uh, we get everything organized in our camp and uh, Mark and Lyle come over and said, you know, we got a couple hours to go out and do a little hunting right here. Um, do you guys want to go out and that? And you didn't have to ask us twice. So Chad went with uh, Lyle in one boat, one direction and uh, um, Mark and I went out in another direction. We're up there for seven days to go out and moose hunt and you land into this beautiful place back there and it was just, it was really exciting that first day. We're out there good, about an hour and Mark goes, uh, Jeff, I think there's a moose up ahead. Of we get up closer to it and uh, this moose is uh, up there. It's just doing its uh, talking and the rut is probably at its peak right then. Waiting for my fearless leader back here to tell me what to do. So we get up by it and uh, Mark goes, what do you think? And I says, uh, what do you think? And he said, we could do better. I says, great, because <laughs> it, was, it was great because when he was calling at this moose and this moose is uh, out there um, answering his calls um, and this moose can see us right there, it was, it was an incredible experience. And it's a good about 55 plus inch moose. Just uh, let a pretty decent uh, moose walk. We heard uh, reports back at camp that they uh, already got a 60 inch or so. This one here is a really nice bull. It was really hard to let it go, but uh, Mark, our fearless leader here, thinks that uh, we can get a lot better uh, bull. So uh, we had a lot of fun. Heard this thing, he's in full rut right now. So uh, we got him marked. So if we really need a, to look at him, we'll come back and uh, check him out again uh, tomorrow. So we're gonna keep going and Hopefully it'll pan out. Should I shot it? You know, a lot of people would say, why didn't you shoot this moose? But for me, 
this hunt, it, it's, it's more about hunting than it is about just going out and shooting something. To meet these people up there, to see this land, this country, I would have pulled that trigger right away. I wouldn't have got to experience what the, the rest of the week was, was going to bring. So very excited about uh, seeing this moose and letting it go. Yeah, he would have looked great on the wall and everything else, but you know what, he's there for the next guy to go up there too, so. We took a trip around the corner of the same bay, and lo and behold, there's another moose right there, about a 50-incher. Two nice moose yeah. within probably 10 minutes. Yeah. And that, and uh, yeah. really nice moose, but boy, just probably not quite the shooter we're looking for yet. And, uh, yeah. It'd be too greedy, but. But oh boy, we got uh, seven days to hunt, and uh, really nice, really nice moose. This is uh, a lot of fun up here at Big Sand Lot. Right there, right there. Look at him break the shoreline there. And I thought, wow, this is so incredible to see this wildlife, these big 1,200-pound animals out here, and that nobody else has probably ever seen these moose before. And to watch this, it was just, it was a, just an incredible experience. Because he just stayed on the shoreline. It was so amazing just watching him tear those trees apart and full rut just grunting like crazy. The rut was on. It was, it was incredible watching these animals. And uh, we let him go, went back to camp that night. We talked about it and uh, shared our stories with Chad. And it was, uh, it was, it was a great first day to get out in uh, the northern Manitoba wilderness uh, hunting these moose. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala, Rue Motors, Smith Brothers Meats, and MBS. Oh, there he is. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat boy. Can't get none of this. Look at me. I got moves. I go left. I go right. I go left again. Watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, there it is. Psych. <laughs> I'm so erratic. I don't even know where I'm going. Come on, Chubby Cheeks. Come on. Come on, Bucket Bob. Come on. Come get some of this. I can do this all day long. <laughs> Look at me. Watch this. Come on. Come on. Your mama's so fat that she can't get out the fish net. Ow. All right. I'll give you that one. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. Whether work or play, we have the Kubota tractor or RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. A family tradition since 1984, Smith Brothers Meats is known for our huge selection of fresh cut meats, cheese, and quality meat processing. Let Smith Brothers Meats cater your next big event. We serve from 50 up to 2,000 people. Or grill your own cuts of Smith Brothers Meats to perfection on a handcrafted wood pellet grill, now available. Avid Hunter, we can process your venison and wild game year round. Visit us online to learn more or stop in today. Smith Brothers Meats, Colby, Wisconsin. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. We love to see the photos of the fish you catch and the animals you harvest here on Outdoor Bound TV. And this season, there are some incredible prizes just for sharing your pictures with us here on the show. Winning entries will be selected to receive great prizes, including an assortment of plastic baits from Woodcraft Lures, a professional fish mounting by Mike Liga Taxidermy, a rugged Yeti cooler from Petrix Service Station, or the grand prize, a salmon fishing trip aboard the Grand Illusion 2 on Lake Michigan with Hosh Guide Service. You can submit your photos on the Outdoor Bound TV Facebook page, tag your picture on Twitter, or email your entry to photos at outdoorbound.tv. Be sure to include your full name and hometown with each entry. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos.
Hey, welcome back. Before we left you for the break, we were with our friend Jeff Schaefer from Chippewa Falls as he was hunting big Manitoba moose at Big Sand Lake Lodge in Canada. Now let's head back to Manitoba and catch up with Jeff right now. Well, the second day, Mark knew where we were going. He was heading to the far end of the, the lake. Well, we get to this one bay, and we see this uh, cow and a calf right next to shore feeding. Got a piece of cow and uh, maybe a, another bull right up in front of us right here. And that, so we're going to go ahead and get a closer look at them right now and see what they are. Um, second day, it's looking good. The weather's just perfect for uh, moose hunting. So we'll check this out and we'll... Uh, let you know what we got up here. We paddled the boat in to get up into this, this bay back there. They're right next to the, uh, the marsh, and it was probably the coolest experience we had all week. The water was calm in there, oh. and these, this cow and the calf and this bull, it was about a 40-inch bull, oh. so we weren't going to shoot it, yeah. but it was, uh, it would, they came right down to the water, yeah. and the water was so calm, and the reflection of oh. this cow and the calf and this bull we're coming off the water. He's up there uh, doing his grunting, and uh, it was just probably the neatest experience of the whole week. Well, we watched these these moose for probably a, probably over 20 minutes to a half an hour. You just want to leave it. It just it was so interesting watching the, how that they react with each other. Well, that was exciting. Just got to see a bull and a cow and a calf. I don't know if you heard her bellowing out there. Sounds like a, a roaring, I guess you could say. Sound just like a uh, a lion out there, and uh, it was pretty. It was pretty exciting. He was just a little bit on the small side. Um, a good bull for the end of the week, and uh, so uh, Mark wants to go check out this bay right up here, and uh, so we're gonna go do that. This is great. big moose right up here on the hill up here. Looks like a shooter. We're gonna get closer. It's about right about a half mile away in it. So okay. oh he's going up. He's going up. As we get closer to it, um, this bull decides to get into the water and start swimming to the other shore. Well, all of a sudden he sees us. As he looks at us, I notice he had two really nice drop tines. So I thought, boy, this would be a nice one that I would like to shoot. Yeah. 
and I'm looking at him through the scope, and I, and I thought, boy, this is the this is the bull. This is the nice bull. I'm going to cock the hammer on it, and uh, my guide goes, Mark goes, we can do better. I don't know. That was a really really dandy bull. Um, Mark says uh, we can do better. Wow, what a pretty pretty animal. So we had. Uh, it was a lot of fun watching him, but uh, when Mark shakes his head no, <laughs> we'll let him go. <laughs> I'm kind of second guessing myself. Will that uh, double drop time be in my mind the rest of my life? Probably, but I think it was the right thing to do. It's day six today. We're uh, a little bit foggier out. Um, yesterday we were on a different lake, uh, just on the other side of us here, and we saw 14 moose yesterday. We saw, I think it was uh, three cows with uh, two calves each, and a couple lone cows and a couple smaller bulls that uh, we passed on. And uh, so anyways, uh, seeing all those young calves, uh, Bodes pretty well for up here. It looks like there's uh, going to be a good crop coming in the future, so that was really nice to see. So today, yeah, well, I could say with the fog, it looks you can see the blue sky coming up above us. So we're just heading back into the bays here, uh, a lot slower here, and hopefully it'll break here in the next uh, half hour or so. We go up and see him. Good job, yeah, buddy. Good job, man. Good guiding, Mark. Right there. Well, we're up here at Big Sand Lodge up here in northern Manitoba. We uh, just got done on our sixth day of moose hunt. We ended up seeing well over 40 moose out here. Um, some really nice bulls. Um, the first uh, hour we're out here, we passed up uh, probably uh, a good uh, mid-50s. Mid anyway. <laughs> and, uh, but boy, the, the hunting up here is, is, there's just too much to see in that. And uh, to go out and shoot a, a moose like that right away, a lot of people would say I'm probably crazy. But uh, I'm going to tell you something, having a, having a tag in your pocket and being able to hunt all week and end up with a moose like this, uh, it's, uh, I'm very fortunate. But to uh, <clears throat> get out here and see this country is what it's about as much as anything. And uh, this country up here is absolutely uh, beautiful. Dropped him right in the first shot, so it was, uh, it was really rewarding. This is a very nice moose and uh, very excited about uh, being up here. Um, yesterday was a little bit more nasty weather, the uh, snow and uh, the wind and uh, the experience of going moose hunting up here with these guys and great guides like Mark, it really makes the trip worthwhile. Thank you Mark for everything that you've done. It's been a great trip and one I'll remember forever.
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, True Fire Releases, and Suffix. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle and the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Well Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my TrueFire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a Hardcore Forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Suffolk 832 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Hey Jeff, congratulations on a great hunt there in Manitoba. What an incredible week. Hey folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Uh, start over. And don't put that on the bloopers either, by the way. Other than that, then what? Keep quiet up there. You sure? Yep. I'll start over. No, we're just getting started here now. <laughs> no, you just screwed everything up. <laughs> start over. But I'll say it right now. I don't remember after that. So how do you do that? Cut, cut, cut. Oh, how much time you got? I don't want to do that. I don't want Jeff. We could do better. I, I could have came home without a moose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>